Hey, it's Brad, and we're diving into lots of exciting news on Mars, and we have to start with this image setting the world and social media on fire of a potential alien doorway. Now look, it is probably not an alien doorway, but more something geological on Mars. But when this image was taken, we saw uh, this gap in the rocks, but what it appears to have happened is some pressure from the rocks created a fissure, caused some of that rock to split and break. And in fact, in the front of this image, we can kind of see a chunk of this rock we believe from uh, this feature. And if actually, if you look really close, you can see that it's kind of even an end to this. And in fact, this isn't actually the first feature that has kind of gotten people thinking about Mars. Back in the 70s, when the Viking probes imaged Mars, they saw this huge mountain that they thought looked like the face of Mars. In fact, it was called the face of Mars. Now, it was always believed to be a factor of poor resolution. I mean, this was a camera from the 70s and shadowing and further probes as they went over Mars images and realized, hey, it's a really cool kind of mountain feature with water flows or evidence of water flows in sand, not a face. And, you know, these things happen on Earth. People see rocks and they say they think they see something. We look at clouds and see faces. People see faces in their pancakes sometimes. It's very common for us humans to kind of uh, take something we think and mold it into something we see to help explain it. But until we send the rover potentially nearer or have something go in there, we won't know exactly for sure. You know, what do you think? It'd be great to see what you think this could be. Would you be the person willing to go on Mars and go knock on the proverbial door and see what's in? Now, hopefully the rover will image a little bit more of this area to get a clearer picture, but it probably isn't an alien doorway as much as, a, and as cool as it would be. And an awesome video coming from Mars is of an eclipse. So in this video, what we're seeing is Phobos, one of the two moons of Mars, creating a solar eclipse as viewed from Mars. Now, Phobos is not round like our moon. It's shaped like this potato. Uh, and it's because it wasn't is, or isn't big enough to have pulled enough mass and get this nice spherical or round shape. So both Phobos and Deimos are pretty tiny moons. But as viewed from Mars, as they go across the face of the sun, viewed from, in this case, this rover, they can block out the light from the sun. But they don't block all of the light from the sun. Now, on Earth, when we get a solar eclipse, it just so happens our moon is about 400 times smaller than our sun. But the sun is also 400 times further away, so they match up pretty well. Now, this is not the case uh, on Mars, but still, nonetheless, it happens as Phobos and Deimos go around Mars, they will sometimes and occasionally move in front of the sun, creating a solar eclipse. So it's kind of cool to think that on Mars, you get two sets of solar eclipses because two moons doing this. Jupiter has even more because of all the 79 moons it has, some bigger, some smaller. So solar eclipses are a very common phenomenon in our solar system, and it's really cool to see one happening on Mars from this rover. For those of you who don't know, Mars also has Mars quakes. They're kind of like earthquakes, but on Mars. And NASA's insight has been measuring the strength and power and how many of these quakes are happening. And now it's detected the biggest one in terms of scale and power, a magnitude or five or so on the scale. Now, when we measure Mars quakes or earthquakes, we measure in powers of 10. So a quake five is 10 times more powerful than a quake of four. And so when you start to get to a Mars quake of around a magnitude of five, you're really starting to get the ground shaking. This is when on Earth we would start to feel it. Maybe our buildings would wobble or shake. So this is a really powerful quake detected for the first time. Now, it's not the first quake. Lots of quakes that have been detected on Mars, including ones that have lasted over an hour and a half. So we're just scratching the surface of this interesting phenomenon underneath the surface of Mars. And for our final story that has been recently announced from the Chinese rover on Mars is even more evidence of water on Mars, but it's even in more recent times. So we've seen lots of evidence that there was water on the surface of the Mars based on the shape of the rocks, kind of the evidence of almost like dry riverbeds. And we've always thought that, yeah, it happened, but probably about 3 billion years ago when that water disappeared. But this latest measurement from the Tianwen rover uh, has shown that it's actually about even 700 million years more recent. So still a long time ago, but more recent by 700 million years. And this is a really big deal. Our big goal to find on Mars is, is there or was there life? 
the more likely it is, is if there's been more recent water, then more likely that there's more recent life. That is the name of the game. So a really cool discovery and telling us a lot more about Mars. So I've hoped you enjoyed hearing about a potential alien doorway, a big quake on Mars, solar eclipses, and recent water. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube to see what's next in store in our world of space.